Hey, comic book community, Long Box Love Affair here. I have a CGC unboxing. This is about four or five books that I sent in for the new CGC Signature Verification Program through JSA Collectibles. So that is a new partnership for anyone who's living under a rock. CGC has partnered with JSA, which authenticates celebrity signatures, I believe, and sports figures and such. So they are now validating comic book artists and such um, to... Uh, authenticate your collectibles without having them witnessed. So I have a bunch of books that have not been witnessed, that I have their signatures. Maybe I found them in a long box. Maybe I um, uh, got them done. Like there are a couple of these that I got done at Baltimore Comic Con several years ago, and I just didn't want to deal with CBCS and CGC wasn't there. And so I just got them signed because I like the artist and uh, didn't bother with the, the, the submission. So in normal CGC world, those would be ineligible. You couldn't get those validated. They would get a green label because they had writing on the cover. So, and, the, and they wouldn't validate the signature. They would just say name written on the cover. Now with JSA, apparently uh, you will be able to get that signature verified. And if it's not verified, I think you get a different grade or a different label. Um, but now they have this yellow label with a black on top, JSA uh, authenticated. So, so I sent in about four books to get verified. A couple of them were just pure signatures. The other ones were sketches that at the point of me sending these in, it wasn't clear what would happen. So CGC, JSA said they would not authenticate sketches uh, and there was a chance that it could get a green label. I consider that the green label of death. So uh, you don't want a green label. It just means um, that something is written on the cover. It's a defect. It is not favorable especially if you're ever gonna to try to sell your book. Now, these sketches, the signatures, I typically don't sell those. I, I keep them, I get them signed for a personal reason. So, uh, but it's still not a desired color. You want the yellow label, and now you want the yellow label with the black band on top. So I'm gonna open these up. I don't know the grades. I don't know if they got verified or not. We're gonna find out together. And so I'm keeping my fingers crossed because they, JSA and CGC has recently put out there on message boards, I've seen it through someone posting, that they are going to be authenticating sketches, it seems. And if it can't get authenticated, it, it might get a green label or something like that. So I could be wrong, but I'm hopeful for the best now that they've evolved their policy, which was mucky. And, and, and it wasn't black or white. It was very mucky in the beginning. So I sent these in on a leap of faith. Let's see if that panned out. We have my books, about four of them. I think that's four. I'm trying to feel my way around here. And uh, I think I have them backwards so that I don't get the grades spoiled or whatever happens. So let's see what the first one is. Oh, this is the one I was questioning. So this is probably the one that might get hit the most Grading wise, this is a James Heron sketch. I bought it off Felix Comic Art, uh, his art dealer. He had a whole bunch of sketch covers and I just had to buy it. Looks like it got validated. And what's the grade? A 9.4. I'm, I'm not, bad about, not mad about that. Okay. James Heron authenticated autograph. Sketch on cover. Okay, so they, they, they recognize that there's a sketch on the cover. Look at that. That's That's... That's an awesome Venom sketch. And did you notice the Spider-Man mask in his hand? That tug is crazy. Um, it, it harkens back to like Eric Larson when he first made Venom with that large tongue. Todd McFarlane, who created Venom, did not like that, I think, uh, that it, Venom had a crazy tongue. 9-4, um, and it's a 9-4. I know why it's a 9-4. Uh, the, the ink is a little messy on the back. Um, it might have bled through on the cover, and there's like some smudges from the artist. So I'm okay with that, but I'm just happy to have it authenticated. 9-4, James Her Heron authenticated sketch. So you see here, usually when you have a witnessed comic book, it's just the yellow label. Here they've added this black insignia on the top, this black band that says it's been authenticated by JSA Collectibles. So it's really kind of a cool label. I'm very happy with this. I'm so happy I sent this in. I was iffy on it. I, I hemmed and hawed. I held off because I was hoping for some more clarity. I didn't get it from CGC, so I sent them in, and now apparently they have clarified it in the midst of this being processed. So I benefit regardless. So really cool. 
James Herring Spider-Man sketch. Next up. Oh, so, so hearkening back to that sketch. So apparently sketches are not getting the green label, which is great. Ah, uh, my Walt Simonson X-Factor, Uncanny X-Factor cable sketch. I got this done at Ithacon in Ithaca, New York this year. It got authenticated as a 9.6. Why did it get a 9.6? I'm not trying to sell this one, but uh, maybe just the slab wasn't in pristine condition. I'm surprised. Uh, so they say Walt Simonson authenticated autograph sketch on cover. So they're not officially saying that the sketch is authentic, uh, but they are just saying it's a sketch. And I'm okay with that. You know, I don't need to tell me that it's, um, you know, an, a Walt Simonson sketch. You're authenticating the autograph, and, and frankly, the insinuation is if he autographed it, that's the sketch. Now, granted, some people get autographs on top of other people's sketches. I don't love that. It's not my thing. But um, for some reason, this got dinged as a 9.6. I'm not sure why. Oh, I know, because the sketch cover has some uh, staple uh, indenting over here. So that's why. Eh, whatever. When I was looking for sketch ideas for Walt, I was looking on eBay and seeing what people have been selling or sold. And this one, uh, not this particular one, but someone had him do a cable. And so I showed him that and I said, you know, could you do something like this? And that's what he went off of. He looked at that. So he had a reference point. So um, excited to have this. I did sell two of my Walt Simonson sketches, uh, the Human Torch and the Spider-Man. Didn't love them. So I wanted to pass them off to someone who might love it. But this one and another one in this batch are, are uh, keepers. Next up is my other Walt, uh, Fantastic Four Blank. I got this done at Big Lick Comic Con in Northern Virginia. He was there like two or three weeks before I went to Ithacon and got the cable. So let's see what this graded at. 9.8, awesome, awesome. Again, I've said this before in other videos, it's really not about the grade for me. I mean, the grade is great. Certainly would love a high grade. Um, I don't want to give a blank that's going to be like a 7.5 blank cover to an artist to have them work on. I want to give them as high grade blank as possible. But it's really about the art, you know? So this Galactus, like a mini little Galactus there. We've got the Walt Simonson autograph. Uh, it is authenticated and sketch on cover. That is awesome. And I got a 9.8. Pretty happy about that. Again. This was my testing the waters. I have a couple of other sketches and a couple of other autographs that I want to send in for, for this, uh, this feature within CGC with JSA. So um, this was me seeing what could happen. All right. I, I kind of love this Chris Bacallo uh, nonstop Spider-Man number two, right? Variant cover. This was an incentive. He signed it up here. He did this at Baltimore Comic Con several years ago, and I got a 9.8. Awesome. It's a, just a different cover. I love the negative space. I love the green. Something about the green. Uh, Spidey's so small. I got this detailed truck. So, uh, yeah, so what they're saying here is Chris Bacallo authenticated signature, and it's his variant. So I've had this signed for several years, and I was just waiting for a reason to get it validated. So, so that's the haul. That's the haul. I'm super psyched. I got nine fours to nine eights and uh, a nine six in between. But um, happy that everything got authenticated. I knew they were, uh, well, the only one that I never physically saw signed was the James Heron. And I knew that had to be authentic because it was going through his art dealer. And if it wasn't authenticated, we were going to have a problem. Uh, but it was. And so I was pretty uh, confident in that. But everything else... If it did not get authenticated, I would have seriously questioned JSA. So we got authentication, we got grades, and no green labels. Even though it's a green cover, no green labels. So super psyched about that. So thanks for watching. Uh, I know some of you had messaged me on Instagram, which is frankly where I post a lot of the time, uh, more often. Uh, people were saying, we want to see how this pans out for you. And they're waiting to see how uh, for me to be the guinea pig. So... Uh, hopefully, I've given you some reassurance that if you have sketches, that they will be graded accordingly. So I hope it works out for you. It worked out for me this time, and hopefully it works out for me next time whenever I send things in. So thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. 
let me know if you sent in sketches and they got authenticated. Put it in the comments below. Would love to know what sketch you got, what artist you uh, commissioned, and uh, if it got authenticated. So thanks for watching. Take care, and I will see you next time. All right, bye-bye.